Hello, what's up? We are just hours away from launching our brand new website builder. I've been playing with it for the past few weeks and wanted to give a demo of what I've been working on for my personal newsletters website, Big Desk Energy, show you a bit of what is possible with the new website builder. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that you can use for your website. Here's an overview of the homepage that I've created. It is entirely flexible. You can see over here in the layers, you can kind of jump in whichever way you want. You can edit things, you can click over here and you'll see a bunch of the different settings you can have. You can change the font family, you can add images, you can change the size of everything. Very, very flexible. You can also see here when you click insert, there's a bunch of different pre-built layouts, widgets, text that you can just drag and drop directly into the page. So this post widget here is what this is pulling from. So this is different posts that I've published. I can show you some of the customizations we have here. So when you click into it and highlight the posts, you can see here all of the different customizations. I can add an author. I can change, you know, lowercase, capitalize, uppercase. I can change the color of the author. I can include an image or not. If I wanted to include a tag, here's like the different tags from stories, essays, milestones. And at the top here, you can see the different options that you have to be able to choose different posts. So you can do it by category. Free selection really just means that you can choose whichever you want. So I chose my most popular, which is why it's dubbed most popular files. And alternative here, we have other posts. These are most recent posts. I call it the most recent files. And when you dig in and find these, they are buried in my containers and containers and containers. But finally, you get to the post. And you can see here, I actually chose the latest and it'll, you know, you can do your latest three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, whatever you want. It's one of the available options. I am displaying my 10 most recent posts here. Um, and you can see that I also have subscribe forms. You can totally customize anything here, right? So in the subscribe form, I can change the style of the button, the color of the button, All right? So the button can be black. I'm going to go back to the blue that I had, um, but you can change the text. You can change the text that shows up once you submit. Everything is fully flexible, right? Here are the different default pages. So this is my home page. This is my subscribe page. Uh, you can see the mobile view as well, and you're free to add whatever you want. You can add testimonials. You can add an author, right? So let me add an author. This is me. Um, you can change the columns. You can change the gap. Uh, you can change the background color. Everything is, is fully editable. Clearly this doesn't look amazing, but I'm just doing a little bit of a live demo here. Again, the archive page. So here's an archive with a live search. You can search whatever and my post will show up. You can also see that you can customize the footer and the nav bar. So if I double click and it will allow me to edit the nav bar, you can see I've created different menu items here. You can click into a menu item you can choose where you want to send the URL, whether it's in a new tab, the background, hover effects, everything here I added manually. There's some pre-built things like the search function, which works great. The sign up pop-up, the login pop-up, the logo. Again, it's as simple as adding this. Home, for example. And I can send this wherever I'd like. Um, I actually don't want this to exist right now, so I'm gonna delete that and then you can also choose what pages you want the nav bar and footer to show up on so for example let's say on the home page I, I for whatever reason don't want the nav bar to show up i can disable that um, the nav bar will no longer be visible which gives you the ability to optimize for conversion on certain types of pages so you see here there's a bunch of pages that come out of the box the author the tag login I disabled the upgrade page because I don't have a paid subscription product. Um, but down here, you can actually add as many pages as you'd like. Also, quick shout out, there is version control for absolutely everything. Um, so you can revive any of the earlier versions of the website, both on a website level and also on a page by page basis. So here is a custom page that I created. This is my welcome page where new subscribers are sent to. And then I also have a few lead magnets. So here is a lead magnet that I've set up where you can see pretty basic page. I have two subscribe forms. The goal of this page is to drive traffic from social or ads to have people submit their email and receive the Beehive Seed deck. 
Now, what is really cool and brand new is you can actually click into the signup form and we've added this functionality here. So I've actually set this signup form to attach to a specific automation. Visitors who submit their email in this form will get the automation in Beehive that coordinates to a seed deck being sent to them. Um, and I did that for both of them. Now, if I jump to, let's say, the investor update lead magnet, when I click on this sign up form, the automation is the investor journey. So by putting your email into this form, you actually are entered into a totally different automation. You have full control over which automations people are enrolled into based on different pages and different subscribe forms. And then similarly, sign up flow, you can now have multiple sign up flows. So no sign up flow means they put in their email, nothing happens. These are the two other ones that I've created. The lead magnet sign up flow sends them directly to my welcome page. The default sign up flow, um, I will show you here you can go to and add a sign up flow however you would like so test and first i might show my recommendations next i might show a form which is my welcome form and then lastly i might send them to my welcome page this is actually what is my default sign up flow so it's the recommendations the forms and then the welcome page you can add any custom url as well and that is the process that new subscribers will follow. Because the lead magnet's a bit different, I don't necessarily need everyone to get the recommendations and the survey form. They just go straight to the welcome, which is very customizable. You can see testimonials, comments, themes, social channels, redirects, pixels, SEO optimization. Very, very flexible what you can do in the settings. And then last but not least, before publishing, you can actually view a preview of the site. So this is like a live near production. So this site does not exist as of this moment, but it allows you to test them and really just QA what the website looks like. You can test, sign up, you can, you know, see if the Beehive C deck works as expected. I need to fix that image. Categories, let's go to like milestones. You can see these are different posts that I've tagged with the milestones category tag, you know, and then here are like the different pop-up modals to subscribe to log in, to log in with password, styles, layouts, widgets you can add. And we also have templates I'll call out real quick. These are pre-built templates for you to take advantage of. So different hero sections, different testimonial sections, post pricing pages right out of the box. So you can actually get started with something that already has the format 90% of the way there. And you can change the colors, the font and retrofit it to how you'd like. So anyway, keep an eye out for the new Big Desi Energy website going live very soon, and I'm excited to see what you all build with the new website builder.